Hey, good morning. This is Scott. <laughs> this is Jake. This is the Scott and Jay Show, and it's Monday, December the 24th, 21 degrees here in beautiful Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Merry Christmas. Merry Eve. Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so, Snow- Snowmageddon Eve, uh, 2012. Yeah, so the Mayan calendar came and went, and here we are. Boy, were they wrong. <laughs> Man, talking about it like there was no tomorrow. I know. It was weird. So Hey, they were wrong, but hey, at least it wasn't in the world. Right. right. So here we get to do another show. We show do. number 49, actually. Yes. You know what I want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? Show number 50. <laughs> okay, I'll see what we can do about that. Maybe might we can be, have might that be on late. Boxing Day. Yeah. Might be, might be the day after Christmas, but okay. Beauty. So, this weekend? Have a good weekend? Oh, man, it was fun. Lots of fun. Had uh, been on vacation for the last several days. Rubbing in. Uh, been on vacation and, and hanging out with family and having a great time. And it's overrated. We're almost to kill each other, but uh, <laughs> as my daughter sits quietly with herself, over. hi, Christy. <laughs> Spending time with good old Spending dad. time with the family. Christy wanted to spend time with dad. I get to do uh, lots of errands today. But, uh, yeah, Friday night we decided to go out to the movies. Went to see The Hobbit. And? And it was okay. <laughs> it was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, it, it's a great storyline. Uh, the cinematography was just phenomenal. Uh, the way the movie was shot, it just made you feel like you were in the movie, that you were in that action. I mean, you, that you actually had hairy feet. I did have, well, I do have hairy feet. I actually had to take off my shoes because they were too big and hairy. <laughs> so, um, out of five um, hobbits, how many hobbits would you give it? Ten. Oh, ten. Yes, it was that good. It, it, uh, it, it, it matches the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, just a phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Great storyline. Um, they actually brought back uh, what's his face from from the original Hobbit or the original uh, McClung, uh, uh Yeah, what's his name? Uh, Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Thank you, you, Lucas. Yes. Uh, who's the old man? Uh, I don't know his name. Yeah, Gan- Gandalf. But he's back. Yeah, Gandalf's back. Ian or. Yeah, I know he you're talking about Sir what's his face? Galahad. Calla Waga or something, I don't know. Yes. Anyway. And uh, the head elf um, from the Lord of the Rings was there. Um, not not Orlando Bloom, but uh, I guess that yeah, was the guy from his the Matrix. dad. Yes. Yes. And what's the girl's name that was was she in there also? Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler, was she there? No. Oh. No, the other girl, the uh, kind of the fairy godmother. Oh yeah, yeah, the the big fairy, the the, the big fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Was she the, there? The head fairy queen that you know walked around going, "I'm talking to you through my mind, <laughs> and I'm reading your thoughts." <laughs> Was she there? Yes. Oh. Well, that sounds like a good movie. Can't wait to go see it. It was good. It was great. Um, Tells you good backstory. Um, Shows you how uh, Bilbo Baggins comes up with the ring. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, Gollum with the uh, hairball is there. (laughs) (laughs) Keeps sounding like he's choking on something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Friday night we watched um, Blade Runner. Mmm, great 80s movie. Mm. You like it? Tell us about how wonderful that movie was. That's a big sucker up there. It was bad in the 80s and it was bad in the 2000s. Even yeah. So, it's on the uh, 100, top 100 list. I think it's number 97. So, Matthew and I are watching it. And <clears throat> we got through with it and we were both uh, disappointed. I can't so even you know the remember movies, what it was about. Uh, but, you know, <clears throat> the AFI has a lot of good movies on their top 100 list, but at the bottom, the, the, the uh, 100 through 99 through 80, it's like the basement If you're going the best th- movies. And so we're having to, like yesterday, we were supposed to watch Pulp Fiction. No, that's, 
That is a good movie, though. <laughs> and I, I don't know that I would take my children to see that. And right, you're a slug right. if you do. But, right. you know, you enjoy watching that with Matthew. Yeah, well, he's 19. <laughs> I mean, he's uh, mature, but, you know, still. I mean, I guess there's some redeeming quality in film studies uh, watching Pulp Fiction, but uh, I'm not quite sure what they are. Oh, another one that's coming up that okay, I'm the looking best forward one. to is <laughs> All right, the best line. Of, oh, that's a good movie, too. Huh? I like that movie actually. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a weird, creepy movie. Uh, yeah. But the best part of, of Pulp Fiction, the best line you get, you have to watch the whole movie just to see this line. Well, you can just fast forward it to it and then stop it after it's over. But um, when they go out for a milkshake and they sit down, <laughs> it's like a twenty-five dollar milkshake. And John Travolta's, wait, let me try that milkshake. GD, that's a good milkshake. Takes another drink. GD, that's a good milkshake. I don't know, it's $25, but GD, that's a good milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we got that to look forward to. And uh, But the movies will be getting better. So, on Saturday, we went to Texas Stadium. Yes, watched, uh, that my nephew play. Yeah, it was incredible. Watched my nephew play Georgetown Eagles play the Guyman Wildcats, and they were ahead at the half, but Ooh. didn't quite make it in the second half. Forty-eight to thirty-seven was the final score. Uh, state championship four A uh, game, and the kids played their hearts out. Uh, Garrett did great. BG Money, I'm out here. I feel you, man. And uh, kids were heartbroken after the game. Of course, you know, you get that far undefeated. And, uh, but anyway, Texas Stadium, we saw all my brothers and nephews, nieces, haven't seen them in two or three years, actually. So it was a good time to see everybody. And the stadium, of course, was spectacular. Seats 80,000, cost $1.3 billion to build. So it was full? No. Yeah, it was the. <laughs> <laughs> and how was the parking? How, how did you enjoy paying for the parking? Parking absolutely sucks. That is the, well, you know, you can you get within a mile of the stadium and you can see it right there. But you can't. I mean, it just takes you forever to get there. And it's kind of like traffic in Jakarta. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, traffic in Jakarta. But <clears throat> so. We had to go up park all the way to the end, way away. Then we get up to the stadium, and I think I'm going to buy my tickets there. Oh, no, you got to go all the way around outside to get the tickets and come all the way back around. So, you know, the game started at noon. We were we were within a stone's throw of the stadium by 11.45, but it just took forever to get the last 50 yards into the stadium. So that was my... but. Matthew and I had a great time. Matthew yes. and I went down. We drove down early, got in late, had a good father-son trip. We called it we called it our man trip. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. We talked and spit and cool. party stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. We, we, uh, we went to a basketball game uh, Friday night. Bruins uh, played Noah. I, the, the most incredible single game performance I've ever seen a young man play. Uh, this kid from Noah scored 64 points in the game. Wow. They won 88 to 85 and this kid scored 64 of those 88 points. He scored 40 in the first or in the second half. In the second just in the second half. Then he scored another um, like seven or eight in the uh, in overtime. It was just incredible. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. So they won. Bartlesville lost. No Noah time. won. Noah won. Yeah. With that incredible kid. Incredible <laughs> kid, yeah. Hmm. I can't remember what his name was. Uh, was From name. Noah. Hmm. Should have saved the program. Number? 25. 20, number 25. But number one in your heart. Number one in your heart. Any birthdays today? Uh... Oh, yeah. I completely agree. Debbie Muggenborg, her birthday today. Happy birthday, Debbie. Oh, come here, Christy. Come here. No, well, here comes Christy. Christy has one birthday to talk about. This is my lovely daughter, Christy. Hi. 
And uh, whose birthday is today? It's Louis Tomlinson's birthday. And who? Louis Tomlinson oh. is who? He is a British singer in One Direction. One Direction. So for all you, is that that group that? Uh, yep. <laughs> that makes you go crazy, crazy, crazy because there's the song. earworm. Yeah, the earworm. <laughs> the, the, what? The, song, the earworm, the song that won't get out of your head. Yes. I haven't downloaded on that. So there you go. Well, happy birthday to him. Oh, yeah. So nobody today, but tomorrow, Eric Norris and. Uh, Heather Thank Williams' you. birthdays are tomorrow, and Anthony Peters. Ah, and oh, and Jesus. And my Jesus. son, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot about that. I forgot about my mom last month, so tomorrow, Christmas Day, happy birthday, happy Jesus birthday, and Matthew. Happy birthday, Matthew. Yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, or taking in your case. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> no, love you, dear. Yeah. All right, right so that's awesome about it. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. The best gift for Christmas this year has got to be the 